Hey, what's good, guys? Edward here with another video. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, so this time I am answering again one of those questions that, that I usually do. Uh, I do like a poll in my Telegram group and I uh, weekly I try to ask you questions like what do you want me to show next uh, in my next video. So answering that, uh, I, see some, I saw some questions there. Uh, still regarding like the diamond strategy and what J money does and all that. So I'm going to show you what I do and I'm going to show you what I actually learned uh, from actually getting the signals from Josh Naido, which is the, the only thing that I'm actually thankful for actually getting his signals was that I didn't know that the market moves when the New York Stock Exchange opens, okay? So when the New York Stock Exchange opens every, every day, Monday to Friday, um, there's always gonna be some volatility there, okay? Some days are gonna be uh, stronger than others, okay? Not every single day, the movement is gonna be very, very hard, no. And that's something that you have to understand. And most of you guys are still uh, doubting and not understanding what to do, what should I do, uh, where should I enter, should I make the entry now, is it pushing up or no? So the way I trade, it is completely the opposite to what Josh Naito does, okay? He mainly trades in fundamentals. He's based in fundamentals. He's based in, uh, as, in the stocks. Uh, basically, when he sees that... Uh, at least, no, you, you just go on, on, on Google and you can search what are the, I don't know, the top five or top seven or top 10 stocks on NASDAQ and the top 10 or top, top five, you can put whatever, of the US 30, okay? So the top, in this case, I have my list here. You see this pink list. This list is the US 30 and this blue list right here, these are stocks from the NASDAQ, okay? So right there, you can see, for example, uh, this is Salesforce, Inc. These are the, like the first, this is Walt Disney. This is Intel Corporation. This is American Express. This is Walmart and this is United Healthcare. So those are the ones that belong, the strongest companies that belong to the US 30. And this right here, you see Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Tesla, and NVIDIA, PayPal. So those are the, the first on the list, the strongest on the NASDAQ, okay? So he mainly pay attention to this. The way he trades is just basically, he sees the stocks most of the times. Most of the times he trades just mainly on fundamentals. So he sees the stocks, how they closed in the previous day. And if they, for example, right now, you see that, well, to, I'm just recording this video today. It's Friday, so market is closed already. So they close already. All of them are bullish. You see all of the stocks in NASDAQ are bullish. So most likely on Monday, uh, by the time the stock uh, market opens, the New York Stock Exchange opens, uh, most likely he will be going on a buy. It depends, okay? That she, I don't know exactly what he does, but I know he's based on mainly, mainly fundamentals. Sometimes I was able to see that it didn't even make sense. When I was on an uptrend, he was actually selling. When, when, I, when I actually bought the signals from him, when I was actually like that, for example, at this point, he, was, he wanted to sell for some reason. He wanted to sell and the market opened and it actually started to shoot up. So I saw, I actually sell and at this point I was selling and the market started to drop and he was like, I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding, you know, it's a lot of uh, fundamentals in, in, in place, so I'm still holding. And he never puts a, a freaking stop loss in there. So I don't trade like him, okay? I don't trade at all like him. The only thing I am thankful is he showed me that um, at what time the, you know, that by the time the New York Stock Exchange opens, there is a lot of volatility. And they're going to be really good days. And they're also going to be just very slow days. Okay. That's all I know. Now, based on that, I'm just going to apply my own thing. Okay. So basically price action, basically price action to this thing. And that is the best thing you can do. Just following price action. So right now I'm just going to do something here. I will go ahead. 
pay attention to this, please. And I hope you're still watching this video until the end. So you guys don't ask me this again. <laughs> All right, so pay attention. I'm on a 30 minute time frame. Doesn't matter what time frame. I'm just doing it as a 30 minute to catch the hour. Okay, so right here, I'm in Colombia. Okay, South America. By the time the New York Stock Exchange opens, it's 8.30 a.m. right here in my country. So if you don't know what time is in your country, you Google. Uh, and usually New York Stock Exchange opens uh, on New York time. It's actually 9.30 a.m. New York time. Okay, so you just Google that. And based on your country, you will see what time is in your country, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back maybe a few lines right there, just in this position right here. I'm going to go back. This was basically today. Uh, let's go to yesterday, 8.30, right here, 8.30 right there. Next day, 8.30. Next day, 8.30. Next day, 8.30. One second here. Next day, 8.30. And next day, 8.30. All right, so I'm just drawing those vertical lines just to tell you and to show you exactly at that specific time, that's when the market opens. Now, let's try to go back in time. And as I, I'm telling you, not every single day you're going to have a push up or a drop massively. OK, so don't get illusions. Don't get set high expectations because I'm what I'm going to, what I'm going to show you, because not every day is going to be like that. All right. If you're lucky. You can maybe get three days consecutive, one after another, the price just pushing up very violently. And then the next couple of days is just gonna consolidate like it did here. You see, you see these big pushes all the time. See, when the market is pushing and, and, and what I do here is basically price action. And if you remember, if you've been following me here on my Telegram group and my YouTube channel, uh, you know, when I, when I catch those sniper entries, let me go back here a little bit. So just just right here. So the price was starting to break structures. Let me do, 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 where is it here? So let me put it here. I'm gonna go five minutes because I think I spotted that that divergence on a five minute. So all right. So you're starting to see divergence, right? But what I'm doing? This is price action. I don't care about the fundamentals at this point. I don't care about fundamentals. So uh, price action right here, it was telling me it's creating low lows. Right here, it's starting to create actually higher lows. So it's starting to see a divergence. So I'm just waiting for the price to start breaking the structures to the upside. I see, I draw a small zone right there. You see price tested, it broke, retested a few times, then it broke it and came back down for retest. This right here, uh, this is beautiful. This is my perfect and setup right here because it is creating a flag right there. It will always create when when the price is it wants to go up, the price will always create a flag. It will create a pullback basically. So it's breaking a strong right here. This big momentum candle breaking this structure is telling you, okay, I'm going to go up. Look at the, the RSI. Now I'm getting above the 50% on the RSI, so it's a good sign. So now I usually wake up at around 5 a.m. in the morning. Okay. So what time was this? Uh, 5 a.m. was somewhere around, the price was here, okay? Now, at that point, I was just doing this. I was trying to detect if the price actually is going to break that smaller structure right there. It's like a, kind of like a small trend. So I was waiting for the price to actually start breaking to the upside, but it didn't. You know, at 5 a.m., the price actually started to come back down come back down and then it came back to the zone creating a, a, a flag a beautiful flag right there so at that point look what's happening how many formations you're starting to see there price action what price action is telling you there so you draw your flag right that's a beautiful bullish flag you wait for the flag to to break let's say you want to get actually in there on the breakout plus it's breaking both things it's breaking the trend process breaking the the actual structure is breaking the structures. As long as the price starts breaking the structures to the upside and is creating bullish flags and breaking the structures, this thing is telling you to buy. So guess what? Let's say you wanted to get in there on a breakout five-minute candle there, 
uh, if you wanted to wait for the close of the candle, if you're aggressive when you were seeing the price actually breaking the can the, the actual zone and you enter aggressively, that's up to you. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I am aggressive uh, because I'm overconfident sometimes in my flag. Uh, or if you wanna wait here, you know, you're fine. The only thing you know is when you see a flag like that, a formation, you have to be taking some profits at least to this high. So you see right there, it's gonna be like what? Like three pips, four pips taking profits. You need to secure some profits right here because it's too short. You can take the risk. You know, this is a five minute. This is basically scalping. So you made your enter there, spot, uh, stop loss below that zone. Now, look at this. What, where are you? Where are you standing right now? Price is telling you to buy. Pretty, pretty much everything is telling you to buy right now. Okay. Now, the, the market is about to open and you are already in a buy and the market is about to open. Okay. So what would you do there? Are you going to panic? No, you don't need to panic at that point. Let it be, you know, if that thing wants to come back down because I don't know, the stocks are falling and it's gonna stop you out, let it be. You're on your buy. Let's suppose you didn't, did, you didn't know about this New York Stock Exchange opening or this didn't even exist, okay? Just concentrate on your price action. What your price action is telling you, I rather trust in this than trust in the fundamentals. Fundamentals is very volatile, it's very crazy and I don't like them, all right? I can trust my soul with price action, just price action, okay? If you wanna use some type of indicators there, they will detect maybe a breakout indicator, like the indicators I use and everything. I mean, that's fine. But this is telling you to buy, and I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna hold this thing, and plus I was trying to detect, as I mentioned, the sniper entry, so I'm gonna hold this thing all the way to the top. I don't care. I don't care if the market is gonna open now, so my direction is buying, okay? As soon as the market opens, you see the price is coming back down for retest. It's retesting the actual trend. This trend that it recently broke right there. So it's retesting it and immediately it just start to shoot up. Now broke this previous high, you know this thing is gonna continue shooting up. There's nothing else you can do there. This thing is gonna continue shooting up. So now not every day is gonna be this beautiful. It was really beautiful. Now you see the price uh, coming back down again, but guess what is forming right there? It's forming a bullish flag. Another good sign, the price needs to do a pullback. Not always gonna, it's not, not because I'm actually taking my profit there or to the next level, four hour level right there. And, and you see, I'm gonna get scared because the price is coming back down. It's not coming back down. It's not doing a re, uh, like a retracement. This is usually a pullback. It is a pullback. The price is not gonna always just shoot up, okay? You have to get ready pretty much for everything. So. Let's suppose anyways, because we were maybe in Asian session right here, the price was just consolidating, consolidating, ugly consolidation uh, right there. So what is creating? You, you're able to see that the price is kind of like creating something in there. You see it's creating higher lows right there. It's kind of like a trend, a downtrend right there, okay? So you can maybe scale, in, scale up a little bit. Let's go in 15 minutes to see what is forming. You see price doing that. So it looks like a flag, all right? Kind of looks like a flag, a bullish flag. So you can clone that if you want. You can put it on the, the bottom. Sometimes it's just gonna be something like that. You don't care about this. I know you guys are like, what is it? Like, is it, is it a valid flag? It is a freaking valid flag, man. You can, you can trust this thing. It is a flag. Sometimes you're gonna see not, not a perfect formation, but that is a flag. So if you wanna get in in there again, Let's say you wanted to get in on the breakout. All right, beautiful. Another entry right there on this one, the small candle, or let's say you wanted to wait on this one. Okay, you're more patient, you'll wait for the next candle. Stop loss below. What are you seeing here? The same thing, you can maybe aim to the next level, the four hour level right there, but you know you gotta be taking some profits at least to this zone, okay? The price could easily do a double top and then drop. Right there, it could reach this zone and then come back down. It will create a double top and drop, okay? So guess what? You're entering right there, the market is about to open and you are already on a freaking buy. Are you gonna panic? No, there's no reason to panic. Right there, you should be already. Look, by the time the market opens, the price is already taking your first profit right here. So you should be happy. And right there, right there, you can just move the stop loss to break even and let you, so you take first profit right there, next take profit, and you can put it on the top, 
you and you decide to hold. That's fine. At that point, by the time the market opens, phew, there's nothing to worry about because you already took profits. You were already on a buy direction and you just let that thing run. Okay, beautiful. It's beautiful. Even if you wanted to still leave this entry open for like what the previous day, how many pips you would have caught there? Jesus, 352 pips. And this one, 212. So it's like 500 and something, almost 600 pips right there. So it's so, it's so good. But I want you to understand what I'm doing. I want you to understand what I'm doing. Now, you see the press coming back down again. It looks like it broke the previous zone on a four hour, the previous high. It looks like it's broken. What do you see there? What do you see there again? So to me, that is a breakout in a retest. Okay, that is definitely a breakout in a retest. What happened by the time the market opened? Immediately. So if you caught it like right here, you could have, you have, you, at this point, you definitely have to make a decision real quick because if the price is pushing up, you may, you may not even have a retest. So you have to be aggressive. If you see the price starting to push or breaking your bullish flag, that is a freaking buy. Stop loss below right there. And to take profit, you aim to the next level. If you, there's something in the past or you aim one to two risk to reward or something you can do, which I'm going to show you right now. Just take, look, at, look at that thing just flying. Not every day is going to be like that. Don't get excited. Not every day is going to be like that. But what I want you to do is that those days there are like that. Take the advantage. How do you take the advantage of this? How do you know that the price actually is going to start pushing down? Now, this is why I have the indicator for the TP strategy. Uh, WMA lines to have the 12, the 30th, and the 100. So look at that. You are, are you actually closing this entry? Are you scared at this point? No, because look at the lines. The, look at the 12 and the 30th. As long as they are like that, separated, basically, you can just follow that, those two lines. And when they are crossing over, that's when you're going to get out. Look at that. Look at that. Where they are almost touching right there, almost touching, almost touching. Right there, they started to cross over. Right here, they crossed over. So at this point, all this push, you could have actually take the advantage of the entire push just by using the indicator like to know when to get out. Okay. How many pips right there? Again, you caught 195 pips. So it's a beautiful, beautiful push. And um, uh, you're pretty much following. If you want to, if there's nothing, you can use this indicator. If there's nothing like in, in the past where you can, where you know where to take profits. Right now, at this point, NASDAQ was creating new highs. So it's very difficult to know where is it going to stop. You can use the indicator to tell you. Okay, use the 12th and the 30th uh, WMA lines. And they're going to pretty much tell, tell you when to get out. Of that okay so again you saw all of those movements three days consecutive beautiful days now let's see what's going to happen after that and you you maybe you may be wondering like right there oh is it actually going to start pushing up you see this day it was awful it didn't do pretty much nothing and then it's going to start consolidating so most likely guys when you have like three days like that very strong pushing up by the time the market opens is pushing up very strong like that you have to know that not always it's going to be like that. At some point, the price will consolidate or maybe will fall strongly in the next few days. It will, it will fall again. And then, you, you know, you can search. You can do whatever. If you want to go for sales, that's fine. I don't like selling on NASDAQ. I just rather go and waiting for this beautiful buy momentum. Um, so, you know, look at that. So next three days. It was just an ugly consolidation. It didn't know nothing. You guys were telling me, hey, but what's happening? I, I got in actually on a sale and the price come back up and stopped me out. And I, Guys, when I don't share anything in my Telegram group, if you don't see me sharing anything, it's because I'm not seeing anything. I don't, I, I'm not going to be just finding entries just because I want to get in. Okay. I'm not excited to jump in in the market. I'm just, I'm just patiently waiting. If you're not patient in this thing you're going to lose okay don't panic when the market is just consolidating wait it's about to explode somewhere is it going to go up or down let the market form its thing it will form something it will form something 
So right there, I already, you know, I draw my zones, uh, the four hour zones. Let me stop it right there for a moment. Let me go on four hour. All right, so price came back here. Stop right there. Right there, that's, that's where I draw my four hour support and, and that zone. So it was kind of like, it's still in this range, in this consolidation, still in the range. So same thing happened. What do you see there? Let's see, press. Now it's breaking the, it broke the, uh, the actual kind of weird trend. It's a more horizontal trend, but it's nothing to pretty much to do here. What the price did, it did push up very strong, but guess what? I did not do anything here. And in this one in particular, I did not do anything in, in NASDAQ because it was not telling me anything. If I don't see anything clear, I won't, most likely I won't get in. And I most likely won't be sending anything or any analysis. You guys are asking me, hey, what do you see? Don't, don't, don't panic. If I don't say in, send anything on my Telegram group, if because I, I am not seeing anything, all right? That simple. So at that point, that's it. That's where we are today. Price broke, it's breaking records now. It's really expensive uh, NASDAQ at the moment. Most likely we're gonna expect a pullback and then, and then pushing up and next week if it's going to continue pushing up but so far i mean it is it is it's been pushing up for a very long time but i want you to understand this that with the diamond strategy with the new york stock exchange opens not always is going to be a beautiful push or beautiful momentum i rather guys you trade this way than actually trading like george naito does okay don't do that. Fundamentals. It might work for him because he has a big account and his account is able to hold the big drawdowns. But you most likely do don't have a hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand dollars or your uh, South African dollars in this case. If you want to trade, you know, you most likely if you're seeing this is because you don't have that. Okay. So this is the safest way and the best way to trade the New York Stock Exchange. Just go with price action, that's it. The price action is gonna tell you pretty much everything, okay? Just be patient, be patient, all righty? And uh, this is what happened on US 30. You see how the formation was, what the formation was telling me today. It was nice. It was really nice. Um, you can see this beautiful push. Now, you see the difference right here. When did the market open? The market opened 8.45, 8.30. You see the market opened right here. So it means the price was still inside the flag. Okay? Now, my, you know, do you know I love this flags and this is my thing, trading the flags, the breakout of the flags, this is, this is my thing. So as soon as I see the price starting to break above, I am getting in the first 15 minutes, the market didn't break. You see, this is the first minute. It tried to break above and it didn't. But then the, ne the next candle actually did break up and, and it started to push up. So right there, you see that this was a, a, a most beautiful setup to actually go for a buy, the NASDAQ. You see what I'm saying? You understand? So I told you and I sent you the, the, the actual signal when the price was breaking and I told you guys, I'm getting in right there. And I send you the, the, the picture on the Telegram group and I was telling you exactly, I'm taking my profits right there. The price just shoot up in like, I don't know, it, take, it took like 40 minutes, 30, 30, 40 minutes or something like that to reach the 150 pips. Beautiful entry right there. That's what I want you to do. I, that's what I want you to concentrate on. Don't, don't just, oh my God, this is stocks are dropping. They are, are, are they actually pushing up? Don't pay attention to that. Don't concentrate, follow your price action. If you're seeing a freaking bullish flag, most likely the price will go your direction. If it doesn't go your direction, let it be, okay? If it doesn't go your direction and you got stopped out, then it was not your day. It wasn't the, and maybe it, you know, maybe you missed the, the you missed something here. Maybe the, the actual flag was not clear enough. Maybe it was not a flag. Maybe you jump in on a different time frame and you see something different and you see, oh, this is what happened. Okay. But as long, look, I just trust so much in these bullish flags that whenever I see them, if I find them correctly, okay, 
um, this is very effective. At least we'll reach this point. If the market wants to go down, right there. If the market wants to go down right there, the market will definitely hit your take profit at this zone, baby. It will reach it. It will most likely break. Maybe by the time the New York Stock Exchange opens, most likely will break. If you saw the flag, right? It will break very strong. It will make maybe a big weak rejection, but it most likely will reach this high and then drop immensely, all right, after creating a double top. And this is something that repeats over and over again, guys. If you have been in my mentorship, if you have seen me doing this, I, I've talked about every day about this. These formations, they happen over and over again, okay? All right, so again, that's pretty much what I do. That's how I trade. Um, the only thing I am actually thankful, as I mentioned for George Naido, is that he he uh, basically let me know, he told me that the market, showed me that, you know, that the market will have a very big push or very big momentum by the time the New York Stock Exchange opens. That was the only thing I didn't know. And I thank for that. All right, after that, I'm just on, on my own and I'm just doing my thing. All right. He is doing his thing. You guys, if you want to follow whatever, you know, at this point, if you want to follow the way he trades or you want to follow my way, that's no problem. What matters what you're going to do. You, you got to do what you got to do. At some point, you will realize that you're, what you're doing, it could be wrong, could be right. You will realize what worked for you the best. And, um, and that's it. Pretty much, there's nothing else I can tell you here with this diamond strategy, guys. Just be patient. Don't expect the market to create a big push every single day because it's not going to happen. All right? Just take the advantage of those few days they're actually pushing up. You, you see a nice setup, a nice buy, a nice flag right, like that. You know, say push and a bullish flag. Take advantage of that and maybe you can do in one single day you can do what you can do an entire week. So let's say on Monday, you didn't see anything. The price was selling. And then this is Tuesday. Tuesday was selling also. Or let's say, hell, you said the entire week. Let's say this is Monday. Monday, you wanted to actually look for a buy, but it didn't. You know, it started dropping. And then it started to correct maybe during the London, I don't know, the Asian session. So um, Tuesday, price started dropping. Wednesday, the price started dropping again and then starts to push up in a weird movement right there. So now finally, let's say on Friday, you're able to catch this beautiful flag and the market is about to open right there. This could be your day. You could make the, you, you know, you could make this, just this entire push already right there. From there to there is 290 pips. That is a lot of pips to make in a single day. You can make 290 pips just like that in uh, in two hours, okay? So just just think about it, guys. Think about it. Don't panic. Please, don't ask me again. You guys are asking over and over again. Hey, should I get on a sale? Should I, is it too, I mean, it's too slow. The market is too slow. What should I do? Should I make, you should not do nothing, all right? Just have this in mind. Not every day is going to be a big push. Not every day is going to be a drop. Um, if you don't trade, if you can trade only once because you only caught one flag like that in a week, you can catch 290 pips immediately and you can save some good money. I mean, you can enter right there and you, let's say you enter on the breakout and you put the stop loss right there. So you're taking profit right there. So it's 221 pips right there. So you can only trade only once a week. And at this point, you can maybe risk, if you're feeling comfortable, once you trade this, once you, once you practice this um, strategy and you feel comfortable, you can get in. You can get in even risk a little bit more. Of course, please, not to blow your account right here, but you can risk a little bit more Maybe you didn't have anything, you didn't do anything the week because you didn't see any buy. You were all you were seeing were sales. And you don't like selling like I do. Then then you know, as soon as you see it's starting to see the price is breaking the structures to the upside, now it's creating a big ass flag, a bullish flag. Take your chances right there. Take your chances. 
Don't blow the account in one single trade. Don't think about doubling your account in one single trade either. So please, you can hire your lot size at this point, but not that much. And that's once you understand this thing, once you master this. If you don't, you're a starter, please don't do that, okay? Pay attention. If you blow your account like that, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to go personally to your house and I'm going to slap you. <laughs> All right. So be patient, guys. Be patient. Thank you guys again for watching. Follow me on Telegram if you want to see me do these things daily. I do share all my information there. Um, there's a nice course coming in. Uh, next week, most likely, I will be posting uh, the course uh, on here, on my group, on my Telegram group and my YouTube channel. Uh, we'll continue with the mentorships until October. I won't be providing more mentorships for November and December. Uh, I'm going to take some time off right there. So my baby's coming in. I have a, my daughter is being born somewhere in November. So I'm going to need to have my wife there. So I'm going to take some time off and I will start again with the mentorships on January, guys, if you're interested. So follow me on Telegram, okay, if you want to be uh, checking that information there. Follow me also on YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share it if you want to help someone that is struggling with these type of things, you know, with this New York Stock Exchange Opens. Help them understand what to do, okay? That will be all, guys. Take it easy. Have a great day.